Hey everybody, it's your boy Lebe Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. Guys, I have been waiting for this for quite some time. I was a big fan of the last iteration of this fragrance. I am a bigger fan of this iteration of this fragrance. It has been a long time in coming, but the wonderful folks at YSL have heard my pleas. They have heard my cries. They have uh, answered my call because they have come out with YSL Y Le Parfum. Now, I liked YSL Y EDP. I'm not going to lie. I liked it. It wasn't a standout for me. It got me tons of compliments, but it wasn't a standout for me. This, oh, this, this, this is a standout for me. <laughs> uh, the year this came out, 2021, it just arrived at my local Macy's. Like seriously, last week, I had gone into Macy's on my lunch break on Tuesday. They had just gotten the shipment in. They had not even unboxed them yet. I went back in on Friday. They had to pull a box from the back in the storage room because they had not put them in the display case yet. But I hounded them to unpack a box and to get me a, a bottle of this fragrance because I have been waiting with anticipation for it to arrive. And it is here now, and I am here for it. Okay, so this is classified as an amber fougere. On the notes, we have at the top, apple, aldehyde, grapefruit, and ginger. In the mid, we have sage, lavender, and geranium. And in the base, we have tonka bean, olibanum, cedar, and patchouli. Now, let's look at the presentation. This blacked out bottle is hot. It's just hot. This is going to look wonderful on any display case. The only thing I do not like about it is that it is a fingerprint magnet. Yeah, you're going to see every fingerprint every time you touch this. They're just going to come out. If you like your bottles clean and sleek, just have a little rag with you, dust it off. But this bottle is absolutely amazing. I love the blacked out bottles. Um, the atomizer, let's give it a spray. It is my scent of the day. Atomizer works really well. <sighs> wow. Off the top, in my opinion, this is better than YEDP. I'm not even going to tell you any differently. I may get dragged for that because I know there are some EDP fans out there that just love their EDPs. I believe this is better. Um... It's vibrant with a darker edge to it, if that makes any sense. There's definitely a fruity apple up front. It's, it smacks you right in the face. It's crisp. It's juicy. And it follows the trends of its predecessors. Like, you're going to know this is a YSL fragrance. It just, the DNA doesn't deviate that much that it's going to um, give you a different take or give you a different smell. It's going to give you, at least in my opinion, a maybe a little bit of a darker smell, maybe a, a bit of a more robust smell, but you're going to know that it's a YSL fragrance. They just have that DNA that's very, very characteristic to all the fragrances in their line. You're definitely going to know that it's a YSL. Now, the middle notes lend themselves to the fougere composition. Um, you do have that lavender and that geranium, which gives it a very clean, soapy vibe. Um, which I absolutely love, especially since it's now spring and it's going to move into summer with the heat and the humidity. I'm going to want to pull for something that has a little bit more of a clean edge to it, uh, more fresh out of the shower type of uh, type of vibe. So the mid notes really lend themselves to, to the fougere composition. Now I will tell you, on paper, I have smelled this on paper. I smelled this on paper at the store, at the counter. It smells exactly the same as the others. I'm not going to lie. I had a hard time distinguishing between the EDP and the Le Parfum when it was on paper at the counter. However, on skin, on skin, the soapy, clean fougere qualities and characteristics actually do come out and they present themselves in a more genuine way. And I love that. Um, so on skin, it definitely smells better on me than it did on paper. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, is this going to be a redundant purchase? In my opinion, in my humble, happy opinion, no. I don't think this is going to be a redundant purchase. I believe you will be happy with your EDP and with your Le Parfum. 
I believe you could wear EDP in the daytime, whereas you could wear Le Parfum at night. Um, I believe they're both safe for the work, in, work environment. You can definitely pull this off at the office. Um, I believe this is a, uh, yeah, I think this is a Vivaldi. I think you could do this in all seasons, all seasons, summer, spring, winter, fall. I think this is perfectly suited for um, every season. I don't know if you could pull this off in a very, 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 very cold climate. I don't know if it would stand up to that. However, in 99.8% of the cases, you're going to be fine pulling for this fragrance. Uh, the performance on my skin lasts about nine hours, nine and a half hours. So it's really good on performance, at least for me, you may differ. Uh, but for me, this is an absolute winner. It's an absolute standout. I love it. I love it. You're going to love it too. If you like EDP, if you like EDT, if you like everything else in the Y line, just pick this up. I think you're going to be a fan as much as I am. Guys, that's my time. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate your attention. Like I said before, go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.